This Brightline construction update is the first part of what will be a special series focusing on the installation of the Coco Tunnel. The Cocoa Tunnel is located in Cocoa, Florida, on the western side of the interchange between State Road 528 and US 1. The tunnel is scheduled to be installed over the course of two weeks with road closures related to the project beginning the night of March 14, 2021. I thought it would be a good idea to do one last update before the installation begins. I am starting here on the north side of State Road 528 looking south. This is the side where the tunnel will come out. As you can see, sheet pilings have been installed on both sides of where the tunnel will come out to prevent excavation work from destabilizing the rest of the road's embankment. There has been minimal progress on the rest of the Coco Curve since my last update here. The tunnel itself will be installed using a method called box jacking, which will literally push the tunnel through the embankment with hydraulic jacks, all while traffic continues to flow on State Road 528 above. For more information on this method, check out the video linked to above. Now we'll move to the south side where the tunnel segments themselves have been built. The biggest change here since my last visit is the addition of the large pile of dirt. This was brought in to give the hydraulic jacks that will move the segments a solid, heavy mass to push against instead of relying on a concrete wall alone. While I was flying, Crews are removing the sheet pilings from this embankment that were installed earlier during construction to make way for the segments to be pushed through. Also, the roofs on all three segments have been completed since my last visit. Elsewhere on the worksite, crews were preparing to remove unnecessary equipment from the worksite so it will not be in the way during the move. the first half of the construction window, traffic on State Road 528 will be reduced to a single lane in both directions using the normal westbound lanes. This will be flipped to both using the normal eastbound lanes halfway through. This is so that traffic is not going over the moving edge of the tunnel going through the ground in case there is a problem. Here is an overview of the overall tunnel and curve area. Some of the blue jacking equipment has been relocated to the top of the dirt pile. I plan on documenting the installation almost daily for the duration of the process, so stay tuned to this channel and my various social media pages for the most up-to-date progress information. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also check out my social media pages.